Hey, we're talking to Blaine Burnett, marketing PR guy for Holly, and uh, LS Fest. What an amazing event, but how did it get started? Thank you, thank you. We're in our fifth year here, so five years ago, uh, roughly. Uh, my boss, director of marketing, Bill Tishner, uh, was having a discussion with some of his uh, colleagues, and they decided that an event like this needed to happen where it was all about the LS. That engine started in 1997 and has since gained a, a, a huge, tremendous following. And uh, we were starting to make parts for those. So how better to establish yourself as an authority on that than to throw an event and show everybody what you're making. Well, and the amazing potential of these engines. I mean, if, if something can go viral in the hot rod world, the LS engine package has, why is it such a versatile architecture? Comparatively speaking, it's a small package compared to some of the other motors that are popular these days, like your Coyote and things of that nature. All great motors, but the size of it, it fits right into anything. Uh, yeah. We're seeing these motors ever since we, we've had LS Fest. We've started seeing them in weird, weird <laughs> configurations from, from Volkswagen Carmen Ghias to yeah. Volvos to Nissans to yeah. Miatas to you name it, it's in yeah. there. And then all of your other classic cars too, your Novas, your Corvairs, your um, even even Fox Body Mustangs are here at LS Fest with, with LS Motors in them. Yeah, we saw an LTD lined up to drag race. Yeah, and uh, the white one? Yeah, the white one, a beautiful car. And the Holly Sap, these guys are not just pencil neck geeks, these are gearheads. And Blaine, you've got a 240 with an LS engine. Tell me about that car. Yeah, the car is a 96 Nissan 240SX. Um, it's got a six liter LS2 out of a GTO from 05 that got hit in the rear. And what more. better? Yeah, sure yeah, is. Yeah. And uh, so we took that whole uh, six liter and T56 yeah. transmission and made a mount kit for it uh, through our hooker headers line. Stainless headers, full three inch exhaust, and that's what we're using in that car. And uh, it's great on the autocross, it's great on road courses, and, um, nice and we're light. about to see how it does on the drag strip here at LS Fest. Very cool, well, I hope to catch that on the strip. One of the things that I like the best about the Holly Swap components is that even on your 240, you pop the hood, it looks like everything's right at home. It looks like it belongs there. How much aesthetics, uh, I guess, consideration goes into the design factor in these components? Well, you want to make sure, obviously, you have your engine and uh, transmission placed in the proper uh, uh, spot for driveline angle. Yeah. Um, beyond that, we want to make kits for people that can, uh, you know, your, your average mechanic. You don't have to be a genius uh, or rocket science anything out to, uh, to to buy one of our kits and follow the directions and install it. So, uh, like for our second gen F body stuff and first gen F body stuff, we wanted to be one of the companies that has one of the most complete bolt in kits uh, for those cars for LS transplants. Yeah, I think I saw Liz Miles talking about it in a video at SEMA with uh, the mm -hmm. F body exhaust system, and it's like, holy cow, that's fantastic. And I'm so excited I can't stand it because Zed Sled, uh, and we're obviously going to use a lot of Holly components on it. Uh, the, the engine mounts, the headers, long tube headers with the big, big primaries and three inch collectors, they fell on the car, practically shook them out of the box and they installed themselves. But the stuff really fits nicely. So you guys obviously do your homework. Well, obviously we've got a large list of, of products that we want to come out with, but I would say too that you need to keep an eye out for our uh, G-Body LS swap right. stuff. Uh, we've got a Monte Carlo here. And so they're working on those swap kits, exhaust kits, trans cross members and everything to go on there. Uh, and also I would look out for I think 73 to 87 C10 pickup trucks as well. Right. That's a hot commodity right now. It seems like everybody is buying those, those square body vehicles up yeah. and putting LS's in them. Like I, you said, we're gearheads. We want to make stuff that we feel comfortable using in our own garages at home. And you know, it's great to be able to go to work and uh, talk to people over the phone and, and sell them the same stuff yeah. that we know works. Well, speaking of cool stuff, show me some of the new stuff you got. Great. Obviously, we've had our fuel system stuff out here for a while with the single and dominator, uh, twin pumps, uh, billet fuel pressure regulators and filters. Um, the AC um, alternator, the, the front accessory drive stuff is huge right now. We got valve covers to make your, make, your, uh, make your car pop. It eliminates the intermediate bracket that the okay. coil packs bolt to, uh, typically. Saves you a little bit of weight, but it also looks cleaner. That's the main idea there. Yeah, because, I mean, GM, I don't know, it's dubiously unattractive on some of the stock engines, and I've seen guys with the covers, and I like the plastic covers that you guys have as well. Yeah, this, this, it offsets them, it's a nice clean cover, but that, you can do a kind of a retro thing, you could paint that, bodywork it even. I saw a Chevrolet script. We did a script like that on our Chevelle wagon that we have here, yeah. um, and that's one of the big things that turns a lot of uh, hot rodders off towards the LS engine, it just looks ugly, so yep. having these parts here to, to hide that or eliminate it uh, really make guys uh, have no other reason not to not to swap in an LS. Yeah. Now on Zed Sled, second gen F body, we had zero clearance issues on the oil pan, but uh, explain yeah. this new pan. Well, we first came out with the 302-1, which is this pan that you see here. It's a cast aluminum pan. Uh, it's got factory oil 
capacity. It allows you to swap your LS engine into a lot of vehicles. I think yeah. it's from 55 to 86 or 87. Um, and we noticed there were some clearance issues that people were still having. So we released this other pan that's kind of stepped and that has eliminated a lot of those problems for people. So it, uh, it's a great pan, it's cast aluminum as well. Yep, and no uh, more carving up your lower cross member. Exactly. Perfect, perfect. Of course, intake manifolds. Talk intake manifolds, these. we've got the uh, dual quad setups, the low rise dual planes. Um, and just recently we've come out with, uh, Kevin, these single plane and dual plane uh, carburetor intake manifolds. We, the single plane is also for EFI. There's uh, bosses there for fuel rails and injectors too. So yeah, those, are, those are gonna be big for people. Blaine, thanks for showing us around, and thank you guys so much for your support with Zed Sled. I cannot wait to drive that car. I'm so excited, I can't stand it. And I want to see your 240 on the autocross and the dragster. Let's go check it out up on grid. Right. Sounds good.